Hi and welcome to a new episode on my channel. Today I'm going to do a short first look on the Rush FPV Tank Mini uh, VTX. It's a VTX which fits 20mm stacks. I'm gonna go through the specs, do some weighing, some measurements and i show you the reason why I'm gonna use this VTX. First let's have a look what you get. Uh, most important, the VTX itself. It comes um, wrapped in two plastic bags, also pretty nice protected. The VTX itself looks like this. As mentioned, it's a 20 millimeter stack VTX. What I like that you have all the solder pins, so no plugs needed. I don't trust in plugs, so I really prefer to solder all the connections and here you have nice solder pads to do all solid connections. Then we have MMCX connector which is also way more solid than UFL connectors which also are installed on some small VTXs like this. Then there you have also a protection cover if you want to protect the electronics of your VTX additionally you can put on this cover here then you get some steel screws and nuts 2 millimeter screws 2 millimeter nuts in different lengths then we have a linear antenna also with MMCX connector and you get some cable to wire up power signal smart audio or whatever you want to connect with this VTX. Then let's have a look at the specs. Input power is 7 to 36 volts, so 2 up to 8S. Then you have also a 5 volt output with 1 amp max power. Then we have VTX power, you have pit mode, then 25, 200, 500 and 800 milliwatts. Then as already mentioned, MMCX connector, you have TBS Smart Audio, you have 48 channels, and these are the most important specs. Then let's have a look at the weight. First we check the VTX itself. We have a weight of around 4.2 grams. Then let's add the cover. Then we end up at 5.1, 5.13. Let's have a look at Diana. This is super light, but I think most of you will use another antenna to get better signal, better range, but it's super light antenna. And this is all about the weight. I just put on the cover just to have a look how thick it is, including the cover, but it's really still pretty thin. We have 4.3, 4.4 millimeters, including the cover at the thickest point, 4.8. Then let's check the other sizes, 29, including the buttons, and other side, also around 29. Then let's take off the cover and check how thick it is without the cover. So let's take the thickest part, this is the MMCX connector and with the MMCX connector we are around 3.5 so you don't lose almost no space if you put on the cover so it definitely makes sense to protect your VTX with the cover. There is also a one important thing about the mounting holes, as you can see, the holes on the VTX itself are bigger than the holes on the cover. So if you use the VTX without cover, you have 3mm holes. So if you use 2mm screws, which is often used on 3 inch quads or even smaller quads, then you will have some play with your screws in the holes. So also in this case it makes sense to put on the cover because the cover has two millimeter holes which fit perfect with the regular micro quad two millimeter screws. 
If you're gonna put it on a, a five inch stack they often have three millimeter screws so then it's possibly necessary to go without the cover just because you have to use three millimeter screws and they won't fit if you want to use the cover so the cover only works with two millimeter screws and VTX itself with three millimeter screws. Last but not least I want to mention the reason why I give the tank mini a try. I want to replace the VTX which is installed on the stock stack of the GPRC Signet micro quad. This VTX only supports up to 200 milliwatts of video power. So uh, here we have a maximum of 800 milliwatts. So I want to replace this one. I'm going to do a video two of the installation on the Signet and if this won't work I'm going to put it on my Armut and Marmot frame because it's also a great VTX for 5 inch quads. But uh, the target is to improve the video signal on the Signet and we will see if this works how I like to have it. This is already the first look on the Rush FPV Tank Mini. I hope you liked the video. Happy flying, have a good time, bye bye.